Hey guys, it's Julie with Mahalo.com and today we're going to talk about multiplying mixed numbers. Now even though this problem looks a little bit intimidating, all we're going to do is turn these mixed numbers into fractions and then follow the multiplication rules we already know. So in this case, to turn it into a fraction, 5 times 1 is 5 plus 3 is 8 over the same denominator. And in this one, 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7 over 2. And we know the rules for multiplying fractions are simple. You just multiply straight across and then reduce. So here, 8 times 7 is 56 and 5 times 2 is 10. Now, on most tests or quizzes, teachers are going to ask you to reduce completely. So we would want to turn this fraction back into a mixed number. So I'm going to bring it down here, 56 over 10. We're going to turn this one into a mixed number. So how many times does 10 go into 56? 5 times. And 5 times 10 was 50. So now we need to take that 50 away from that 56. So we're going to subtract. 56 minus 50 is 6 left over, and we always use the same denominator. So now while it's in a mixed number and that's correct, is this reduced completely? No. So you're going to want to reduce this fraction further in order to probably get the answer correct on your test. So we bring down the 5 and we're going to reduce this. What number goes into both 6 and 10? That's 2. So we're going to divide the top by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And we're going to divide the bottom by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So our final answer to this problem is 5 and 3 fifths. And that's how you multiply mixed numbers. Thanks for learning with me today. If you liked what you saw and would like more information about related topics, click on the links below. And if you have specific problems or requests, email them to requests at mahalo.com. See you next time.